Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. Now in this video we are back with part one of the final of the community build challenge. Now a few weeks ago I challenged you the community to go and build an attack helicopter here in Stormworks. Now there were a couple rules here but pretty much I left it up to your creativity to build a really cool attack helicopter. So fast forward a couple weeks and a whole bunch of voting on my Discord server, we now have the top 10 most voted for creations to look at in two videos. This is going to be part one where I'm going to be having a look at the first five of the top 10 most voted for creations, testing the art uh, in this really cool course that was created by Christian. Now this course is pretty straightforward, it's a high altitude section here at the beginning, then goes into a very low dive uh, into a low altitude section where we have a couple targets that we're going to be shooting off some rock Rockets and also some front firing guns. We're going to go through to another small little area. You can see some road targets there. And we're going to also going to be shooting with some uh, front firing and also some missiles. And then eventually we're going to go up and then back down. And then here there's another landing pad where we're going to finish. But before we finish, we're going to be testing out the radar guided missiles over at this very far target. So that's the course. It's really cool. Um, I think it's going to put these helicopters to a great little test. And with that said, let's just jump just straight into it and let's get started. And starting off the first creation, we have submitted by Phil. Now, this one looks like a very simple and clean design. I like it. it. means you can probably add to it and make customize it. Looks like I've got water cannons, unguided rockets, camera or laser. Uh, and we've also got some radar guided missiles. Very nice. Same on the other side. Looks like some equipment. And that's pretty much about it. Cool. So let's jump inside. Let's see how this thing works. So jump in the seat. Close the door off. Wheel brake and lights, uh, system, switch to rockets, laser, all right. RPS, let's get the 20. Systems on, we got able to switch to rockets. What's by then? Okay, that's the cannons, and then we can switch to what's unguided. Yes. All right. We also got hotkeys, which is deploy chaff. Uh, we got 3 by 2 missiles and disable pitch gyro. All right, so we're going to have to test the disable pitch gyro and see how that works. I personally prefer to use it. Especially with the tank helicopter. Uh, cool, let's go and take off here. Yeah, pretty pretty nice, left and right. Okay, disable pitch gyro and let's go. That means we should be able to get the nose way down like that. Ooh, you can see what happened there. It seems like the gyro is almost still on, isn't it? So I put the nose way down and I hold it. Yeah, now it's working. Cool. All right, so let's go and fly. Oops. Let's go and fly through some of these. I'm just going to use my keyboard here. Obviously, using a joystick, I think, would whoa, be very beneficial. Let's try and keep the nose down. It seems like it's trying to push itself back up every now and then. Okay, let's keep on going down. Increase throttle. Down again. Low altitude section. We're going down here. You can see as soon as I let go of my pitch, it just all of a sudden started pulling. Uh, let's see if I can get a couple shots off here. We're a little bit late for the first target. Oh, try and get the next target here. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Okay, let's actually just leave my throttle alone and let's just see if we can just slowly do this instead of doing it quite quickly. Might be a little better for it. Okay, so the next one we got is going to be our ground target. So we're going to use the unguided missiles for this one. So, nose down. I missed that one a bit, but that's all right. Uh, let's keep our throttle up. We're going to go underneath this waypoint, and then we need to do a quick climb. And there we go. Quick climb up. Nose down. And we got a couple more targets we're going to use the unguided missiles for. These ones should be pretty straightforward. The nose is very heavy, shall I say. Well, that's just my opinion on the matter. All right, so we come on to the last part, which is going to be our landing. But before we land, we need to test out our radar guided. And radar guided is going to be tested. Now we're going to put our pitch stabilizer back on. And we're going to test out against uh, that target way out there. So here we are. As you can see, the target's just over there in the distance. Uh, we can go and press 3. There it goes. Let's get our binoculars. Spot on! Well done for that one. Ooh, very well done. So that's a very good test there. And uh, great creation. That's it. Uh, 
pitch. I don't know what's going on with the pitch there. Uh, for me, it was a little bit sticky. I would like to be a little more sensitive, but that's just my opinion. Overall, great little helicopter. I think the crate has done a fantastic job and it did all the tests with no issues. Let's go ahead, let's move on to the next one for this challenge. And moving on to the next creation, we have submitted by Havoc 375. So this is a very large helicopter, Kraxel Reiter, uh, in comparison to the last one we checked out. Pretty cool design, I like it. The chaps in the back, looks like radar guided, unguided, and then we've also got a turret mounted gun here in the front. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go and get inside. So jump inside here, a little bit of a troop transport area. Uh, some machine guns and things, medical stuff. Cool. Go into the cockpit. We have a WSO seat and we also have a pilot seat. Great. Uh, looks like a couple of monitors and things. Ooh, that thing's moving while I'm moving my mouse. Interesting. Uh, we've got our options here for system start, automatic RPS control, transponder receiver, altitude hold type. Okay. Interesting. Let's get that on. Now, I have modified this creation to add this little dial on here because the creator had set um, the altitude up in two different ways. Either you could use the altitude hold here or you could use up and down key, but it was standing, starting at zero alt. Obviously, I spawned it quite high, so hence the reason why I've got this on. Uh, let's just get this set up high. It's always on like a set alt. And you'll see here, as soon as I go over, I think three, 400, it will actually start lifting the helicopter up. There we go. Yep. Cool. We got gun arm, searchlights, nav lights. We got pylon master and rocket arm. So rocket arm, and then we got four is to fire. Ooh, it looks like it's a laser gun. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Uh, we've also got if we turn that off, we've got pylon masters. So that's four. Can we shoot those? Wonder. Do we need to arm something else? Pylon master. Oh, yeah, wait, hold on, these are things here. So if I enable that one and then press four. No, what about space? Yes, okay, so that's how you arm these guys. Okay, that's interesting. Ah, uh, we've got rocket, nav, pylons, okay. And we've got gun. Oh, and the gun you can actually control using your mouse too. That's pretty cool. Nice. And then to actually see that, you can use zoom in, which is six, I guess. Yeah, look at that. Oh, and you can also use the laser. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's see how well this thing actually flies. So, uh, we're going to just go down here. Is there any option for us to turn off any of the systems? I don't think there is. So, we're going to have to fly it like this for now. Zoom in for you guys so you guys can see. Oops, don't want to hit anything. I do prefer having an option to turn gyro off. That's just my personal opinion. But uh, I think we'll, we'll manage like this. This means I can't get the nose down. This is a more of a design where you would hover your helicopter over the target instead of doing like a strafing run, I, I can imagine. Go down here. Down a bit more. I would also recommend me to the creator to disable that set altitude thing and just let, let someone just use up and down to set their height. That's my personal opinion. Uh, on the matter but uh all right up 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 all right and we're gonna see if we can get some of these targets now so i've still got this enabled which means i should be able to just fire these off and this is space oh yeah it's pretty cool you can see there i'm firing so we can oh that's nice i can just hold w down and then just fire very cool all right before we go to the next one we disable the gun let's get our rockets armed and uh, we're going to test out the rockets in a few seconds now with the rockets you can also use the laser if i'm correct yes look at that so now we just need to make sure that we line up our helicopter with the ground targets and eventually or if you guys can see that um but yeah actually we can just look at it there on that camera i guess uh let's go and down a bit for you guys up a bit now let's go forwards and then space bar. Am I firing anything? I think I am. I have got rockets armed. If I need pylons on. Uh, so, four. There we go. That's pretty cool. You can see using your mouse, you can actually aim it. Quite nice. And you can get very accurate shots there. Alright, uh, let's take that off. We do have another target in a few minutes. So we're just going 
climb down here. We need to go underneath this, which is going to be quite interesting. Let's see if I can manage to go underneath this. Up. Down. Down a bit more. Don't want to hit anything. I think I hit something. Up. To the right. Up again. Yeah, so an option to turn the gyro off, it would be my recommendation here. Uh, and secondly, is just to change how you control your up and down. But that's just a, a small thing. We're going to press four, ideally. Couple targets. I think I hit something. Yeah, I hit something. All right, and let's go again. And four, four, four. I like how you can use up and down keys here. Yeah, that's really nice. All right, and then eventually we get to the landing pad where we're going to rotate ourselves around. And we're going to use the radar guide missiles. So about here, level out ourselves a bit. Uh, we can then switch and get our pylons R on. Let's get our rockets off. And is it space? Oh no, it's over here. Uh, so we do this one and then space. Yes. And there it goes. Nice. Very, very good. Oh, nice hit. And there we are. Cool creation. As I said, a couple things that I would change here and there. Uh, but that's just once again my opinion on the matter and how I and how I prefer to fly. Uh, if there is any cause here of anything weird, it's probably me because I have adjusted this creator's um, up and down settings. I just do work for myself. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, cool creation. Let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next one for the episode. And moving on to the next creation. Um, yeah. I don't know why I expect anything else, but this is an attack house apparently, um, submitted by Fish, and yeah, it's a house with helicopter thrown on top of it. <laughs> Looks like we got radar gun and missiles, uh, rotary auto cannons, and let's go in the house. So I'm gonna have to get my light here. So in here, it really is a house, isn't it? Some beds, seats, cabinet, and door. We got lights, and we got a seat, stove, or oven. And then a uh, pilot seat with throttle lever. Engines on off. Uh, space is the rotary. Two is autopilot or auto hover. And three is HP, which I'm guessing is the missiles. Yep, it is too. All right, I mean, very simple way of doing it. I'm going to leave the auto hover off because I like it off, uh, especially for this course. Let's see how well this thing flies. We're also going to get over there. And I mean, that should be fine. Up we go. Okay, and down we go, I guess. Nice, okay, I mean, I like the controls. Let's roll a little bit. The ability to turn the gyro off is very useful. I personally love it. Uh, let's go and just roll ourselves here, make sure we're nice and level. Uh, ooh, this is actually, control-wise, it's really quite easy to fly this thing without gyro on. I like it. Maybe something to assist you with a roll would be something I possibly might add and recommend the creator adds in the future. But besides that, I mean, everything is really cool. You can see it is rolling quite a bit. Uh, let's just go down here, left click, or spacebar, sorry. Oh, that is really dominating that, isn't it? Oh, a lot of loud, loud noises and bright lights there. Uh, cool, let's go and see if we can get the next target, which is the road target over here. Oops, I might hit that. Let's increase up a bit and roll. Roll forwards. Up, roll. It's it's weird because it aims quite high, um, but I think you'll get used to it after a while. I'm so used to also rolling it. Oh, let's roll it down. Down. Okay, we made it through there. Let's increase it up. That's up, 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 and then eventually down. Level off. Left click. Fire, 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 fire. <laughs> wow. Okay, uh, let's come on to the last part, which is the landing pad, and then we're going to turn around, see how well the radar gun and missiles work. We're going to level it off. Let's put the auto hover on. Let's rotate it around. And there we go. And we're going to fire off, so binoculars out. Three, there it goes. Come on. Oh, almost. Okay, so that was almost, maybe a little more tweaking, but otherwise, spot on. Let's go a little bit lower, give it a little fairer chance. Three again. There it goes. 
Oh, almost. Just last second, I just didn't hit that. Cool. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the Stormworks community house for an attack helicopter. <laughs> nice one. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's move on to the next creation for the episode. And moving on to the next creation, we have submitted by Sergeant Teaspoon. Very nice looking design. I like it. Coaxial rotors. Looks like unguarded, laser guided, and unguarded, laser guided, and also light water cannon. Nice. All right. Let's go and get inside this thing and see how well it flies. So, jumping in the pilot seat. Here we go. Very nice cockpit. Very detailed. Looks like a lot of things going on. Okay. Position lights, lighting lights, transponder, IR spotlights if we want them. Test battery instruments, uh, fuel pumps, ignition, start engines. I'm guessing gyro hover, alt hover, alt hold, landing gear. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can see this is actually articulating the gun. That's pretty cool. Uh, RPS up down, fire extinguishes, infrared, switch MFDs, and that's pretty much about it. Nice. Switch weapons. So what you can do is one. Nice. And that's got laser guided, then rocket pods. All right. Nice. Uh, let's go and get our... Actually, let's leave the hover off. Let's see how well this thing actually does. I mean, let's get our landing gear. That's pretty cool. Having the alt hold off, I actually quite like it. Like this. Or gyro off, at least. You just have to be very careful on how you fly it. But, I mean, this is pretty cool. Nice and agile. We can go and just rotate ourselves around here for the next one. Up. Nice. Okay. It's been a while since I've been flying, as you can probably tell. Uh, let's go and put the nose down. Oh, this means this thing can really climb down very quickly. And then we switch over and we do spacebar, articulate the arm, get some shots off. Very nice. I like it. Let's go and rotate ourselves around again. And then once again, spacebar, up, down, left and right a little bit. That's nice. Okay, let's go and switch our weapons over to the radar. Oh, sorry, over to <laughs> unguided. So unguided through here, keep those up, up. Nice, okay, and then we need to go through the next part. Okay, down we go, and then we're going to a fast climb. Up, 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 this thing's climbing really well, so stable too. Okay, then we come down to a little bit of dive again. Space bar, oops, down, 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 down. Oh, very nice. This one's doing really well. Uh, let's put our hover on again and let's then rotate to the right. We're going to switch over to our radar guided. Which, oh, these are laser guided. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Um, so then, oh, we have to actually aim it using this. Okay, maybe it's radar and. We need to try and find the target. Which, yeah, I'm going to try and have to get our alt up quite a bit to get that target. See if I can get a shot on it. Spacebar. There it goes. It's going to hit. Yeah, it is. Almost. Oh, almost. So, yeah. Very close to hitting. Let's get another one off there. So that's fully laser guided. Yes, nice one. Very good. Very, very cool. So just a different way of doing it. Uh, cool creation. I like it. I mean, very... It's The flying is really nice, especially with the gyro off. I really enjoyed it. Obviously, it takes a little bit of getting used to. Uh, but yeah, really cool creation. Let's go and move on to the fifth one for this episode. And moving on to the last creation we have by the Mr. Fails. Uh, Apache, very nice. I like it. Looks like we got a autocan in the front. Uh, we've got radar guided, unguided... And that's pretty much about it. Very nice. Ooh, I like how it's opened there for us. Uh, let's go and get inside this. Uh, it closed for us automatically. Uh, looks like we've got nav lights, radar, engine power. Looks like a gimbal. This is the gimbal gun in the front. Uh, we can switch using three rockets. AGM, AA. Okay. So. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. You can also use a... Five. 
and that's what for radar radar tracking i'm guessing okay uh hover mode is one and up and down nice we also have mouse aiming which is pretty cool so if i'm correct so that would be to aim the helicopter that's quite nice i like that yeah let's just bring it back here uh because we need to do the course of course uh let's go down so we have currently got the hover mode on let's turn it off let's go forwards here bring our alt down i like the design of this one this thing's quick whoa okay Ooh, it's too quick i got damage off by the way <laughs> um just imagine those those waypoints are just visual there they're not physically there uh wow this thing can do a dive yeah wow okay we need to see when you when you're doing a dive it actually doesn't lose altitude i was kind of expecting it to do and the up down is kind of taking a while for my personal liking i mean we're getting there all right uh now that we've done that let's see how well we can use these guns oh whoa. okay we need to get this way down here okay we need to probably get this back into hover mode um just because i'm having a little bit of trouble there i guess you'll probably get used to it but now we can probably just use our left and right and space bar nice and then the same ooh, left again nice okay probably mouse aim would probably be better here um oh this is a very big learning curve to fly this thing because you can't do certain things in certain modes quite a big learning curve on this one compared to the other ones i'm saying nothing wrong with it but for me it's a learning curve uh let's switch the gun so three rockets there we go so now i think we're aiming here isn't it fire yes okay there we go nice let's go down let's go and fly this thing down 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 go down 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 and then quickly up nice up 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 and down again and we're just gonna fire these unguided very cool and then eventually over to the landing pad where we're going to be testing out the radar guided missiles all right I mean, yeah quite a big learning curve on how to fly this thing um but i think once you get the hang of it it can be so fast you saw how fast we were going when we were trying to go into that dive it just didn't want me to go into that dive uh, cool let's see how this thing works so six no sorry let's go into three it's agm okay and what is it five space there it goes there it goes try and see it yeah spot on nice one that was a very good hit let's try and find another one the road the helicopter seems to be rotating a little bit to the left rotor movement oh that's very good so another lovely helicopter really really beautiful i like this one i think the front the grids has done a fantastic job with the front of this the controls as i said take a little bit getting used to but once again that's my opinion and how i found the helicopter flying a little bit differently to the other ones um but it can go really quickly and i mean you could probably oh there is a second seat in the front there is that being disabled Oh no, it's actually got a full second seat in there. So you can get maybe one of your friends in there. Uh, and you can really do that. Because if you're just doing aiming and stuff, that probably makes it so much more easier. You're just in control of aiming and stuff. But uh, yeah, lovely, lovely little creation. And that's where we're going to be ending off part one uh, of this episode. We are going to be carrying on with the next top five more votes for creations in the next video. And we'll also be deciding a winner of this challenge hopefully you guys have enjoyed it if you have smash the like button hit the subscribe button if you want to check out any of these creations they are over in my discord in the community uh, submission challenge uh section but yeah definitely go check them out and until the next one we will see you then